Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 43 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Last time we, uh, we did a little stint on Two Island before beginning our path through Three Island here. We're almost at the Berry Forest now, I believe. It's, <laughs> this doesn't even feel like the same game that we started with. I'm so used to, the, like, the regular Kanto region that, like, the Sevi Islands and all the areas and talking about them just feels, like, so foreign to me. It feels like a DLC or something before DLC was even a thing. But it is what it is. That Kingler had a massive claw, by the way. That was scary. <laughs> I did switch Kirby out front just because uh, I had Antiford out front last time. But it looks like we got a bunch of water trainers. <laughs> Please go away. I guess she does kind of want to be alone up here, doesn't she? A Pokemon bit through my swimsuit. I can't get out of the water. Ooh, scandalous. I I'll help you out. Don't worry. Just, uh, just come with me. I'll wait. No, no. I'm not that much of a jerk. <laughs> My mommy said that I can't swim without my float ring. You mean your tube, you tuber? You friggin' I am a potato, tuber Gladys. Nope. Oh, Poliwag, that's fine too. Poor little girl, only had two Poliwags in a Poliwhirl. Uh, this year I'm gonna finally learn how to swim, hell yeah. More power to you. Did I see someone else down here? I'm not positive if I did. Uh, no, it's just that guy who I fought earlier. In the previous episode, this girl looks like she might actually have some uh, some non-water types. If she has freaking, if she's another aroma lady and has grass types, then this place is just out to get Antivore. Apparently, the salties hang out the sea. It tickles my heart. That's not a normal thing to say, lady. Oh, she is an aroma lady too, Nikki. Come on. This is that whole like Grandosco situation all over again? Freaking Antivore just can't catch a break all these water and grass types about. Jeez Louise. Level 47 now with Zamori. We're getting on up there, really. Level 47 with quite a few of our team now. <laughs> Something smells unpleasant. That's that's what roast weeping bell smells like, lady. Never smelled it before? Pass that reek is your sweaty Pokemon's body odor. Well, jeez. <laughs> Look, I don't have access to showers for my Pokemon 24-7 like you apparently do. So, why don't you just leave well enough alone, lady? Come on. Very forced ahead. This is probably gonna be another area that's not great for, uh, for Antiford here. Because I imagine in a forest, there's bound to be a lot of, uh, grass types. Be friendly and share berries with others in Pokemon. Well, let's, uh... I can- I suppose we can get an encounter here, at least. So let's go ahead and switch Grandosco up front for the Spore. And see what we can find. I have no idea what we're, uh, what we're likely to come up against in the berry forest. Probably some... That's a Hypno! Okay, uh, well, we clearly already have one of you, but I appreciate, uh, your appearing here, Hypno. Can't escape, huh? Use some meditate. That's so random, just a wild Hypno. Alright, then. Really? Well, this is kind of scary. Alright, let's just, uh, let's just get out of here with our Poké Doll, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw a smoke ball up on, uh, Randos. I really should know better than this by now, shouldn't I? Good God. Alrighty, well that's five encounters. We actually got five different Pokemon, but regrettably nothing new. It was like Pidgeotto, uh, Venonat, Weepin' Bell, Bellsprout, and Hypno. Hypno seems like an odd one out, though. At any rate, uh, I guess we don't need to throw Purpel just yet. There's no immediate grass here. Could use Cut to kind of bypass some of this. I, I might as well, actually. As long as like, there's no trainers down there or items or anything. It looks like there might be a hidden item or here, here or something. Um, I mean, that's the spot for a hidden item, but apparently not. Oh, well. All right, that's fine. Is there really no trainers in here? This seems kind of ominous, almost. I feel like I overused the word ominous, that it's such a dirty that it almost seems to have no effect, but... What other word are you going to use in this place? Like, ethereal? It's not even the same thing. It's a chesto berry. Yeah, I imagine there would be quite a few, uh... Quite a few berries littered about on the ground here. But apparently not everywhere. Ooh, can I... Surf? Hmm. Looks like I can get this item. Oh yeah, this is easy, easy enough. Full heal. Not sure where I am in relation to everything else I was just trying to explore though now. Let's see here. Oh, it looks like I'm just back a little bit. Or am I? Hold on. I feel like I'm totally lost now. Beware of berry-loving Pokemon. Wild berry loving Pokemon, no less. Oh lord. Uh huh. What is. 
what is this? look at all these countries man oh they really want to make sure that you have cut before you can get this item for whatever reason all right zamori go to town on these trees i know you could theoretically probably just burn them with flamethrower fire blast or just your tail but come on all right what did you have me cut down four trees to get game a max elixir. Well, I could have asked for worse, so that's fine by me. Is there a berry hidden in the corner here? No. This is such a weird place, man. I love the color on the trees, though. It reminds me of, like, uh, that one area in Secret of Mana. Anyway, let's head on up here. Oh, this looks very final, almost. Oh, I believe that's Lost Stell, which, if I remember right, what's about to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and switch Kirby out front, just in case. Oh, this is Lost L. <laughs> oh, please help. A scary Pokemon appeared there a while ago. It kept scaring. It made Lost L scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away, scaring me. Ah, I want my daddy. That's a familiar cry. <laughs> Hi, Hypno. What the hell is this? This is super awkward. This Hypno apparently kidnapped this little girl. Oh my goodness, you're giving a bad name to Hypnos everywhere, you know that? Not all of them are terrible child-napping freaks like you. Some of them are like Kirby here and just, uh, just creepy. <laughs> oh, that was so scary, thank you. I still came to pick some berries, you can have this. An Ayapapa berry. I don't even know what that does. What's your name? I'm still scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Let's go home. Oh, that was fast. And, uh, so you rescued Alstel? How can I thank you? Alstel, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy, I got to be best friend- I got to be friends with Nargon. Nice. Listen, listen, please show my daddy being Please show me you being cool again. Oh, was that you say- you're saying this is for me? Oh, I forgot about- I, have to, I actually have to give you the meteorite. I totally forgot, that's exactly why I came here. I gave it to Alstel's daddy, who doesn't have a name, apparently. Oh, I see, this is from Bill, you have to thank him for me. You know, you've been a fantastic. I want you to have this. A moonstone? That's like our third one. Wish I could have had a use for it. I'll get the game corn running right away. You come visit with a friend. You have to come visit with a friend. Alright, so I guess maybe I'll come back and see what this game corn is all about. I hope I didn't miss anything out in the berry forest there. I feel like I might have, because I just kind of skipped right to the end it felt like, but I can't imagine I missed too much of importance regardless. I might go back like off screen just to make sure though. For now, I, that seems to be it for the uh, what we can do in the Sebi Islands on Islands 1, 2, and 3, though. Not quite as big as I expected, actually. I, I felt like I remember them being a little bit bigger, but that just goes to show how little I remember about these places, I guess. Most interesting thing here was, uh, was Moltres, I suppose. Speaking of, maybe that's something we should tackle next, we've got a lot of time left in this video. Anyway, hey, Bill. Oh, hey, Argon. What kept you so long? You've been, you've been, you've been having a good time. Uh, we got it done. The PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. No, no, there was almost nothing left, nothing left for me to do. See, Leo, I have to hand it to you. You've, you've learned a lot. Do you want me to leave you guys alone for this moment? <laughs> um, jeez. Well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. See, Leo, I'll be seeing you again. Argon, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. Yeah, we'll come back, don't you worry. Oh my god. At the speed of sound! And here we are. Hey, that wasn't that a long cruise. My buddy Celia seemed to enjoy your company. I'm, I'm sure he'd welcome you again if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can always take the ferry there from Vermilion Port. Alright, thanks for your company. At least we have a reason to go back to Vermilion now if we want to. So that's cool. Uh, I already healed up, what am I doing? So that's that for the Sevi Islands for the time being, anyway. There's plenty more to do there later in the game, but uh, I think I have some business to take care of. I have to get some of these moves off of um, off of Zamori and Antifort. i got to get rid of Rock Smash and Cut before anything else, before I forget about that. So let me do that. I'll go buy the TMs and sell it on to replace the moves, and I'll be right with you. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I've got all my moves back on my Pokemon now. Got all, uh... I actually went and bought a bunch of bunch of Ultra Balls because I feel like with the time left in this video we could go and start the 8th uh, gym and work through the trainers there. At least begin that process. 
but I feel like since we've gotten the last, the first two legendary birds over the past couple of videos, I figure out why not knock out the triple, right? Let's go to the power plant, go on through here, and encounter ourselves a Zapdos and see if we can do that. So we already got our encounter for the power plant. We had a Pikachu. Uh, some of these, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure Antiford's out front because some of these items are not what they seem to be. This one is, it's a max potion, but some of them are gonna turn out to be Voltorbs or Electrodes, I believe. Do they do that in this place? I feel like that's something that they must do. Oh god, this place is labyrinthine. I would not want to work here, especially not with all this rubble about. Aha! Ah, oh, there it is. So I could theoretically count this as a static encounter, but you know what, I already have a Voltorb anyway, so it doesn't even matter that much. Let's go ahead and Earthquake this thing into Oblivion, or if that, can, that works too. Antiford will just eat that up. No harm, no foul. I've been using that expression way too much too, I gotta stop with that. Alright, and it's gone. In a puff of smoke. Literally, pretty much. Is that what all these things are gonna do? That would be kind of funny if each and every one of these electrodes that we encounter just like, blows up like that. I would not mind that in the slightest. Cause you saw how little it did to, uh, to Antiford there. TM25 is thunder, ooh, wow. That's a pretty powerful move. Wonder if I should teach that to anyone. If anyone can even learn that. Mm. Oh, there's an item over there. Or could it be an electrode? Take your guesses now, folks. Damn it. Oh, I had, I had a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh. That's an electrode's gonna explode in my face. Yeah, he's gonna exp. Oh, no, he's not. He's gonna go for rollout. Well, that's even worse for him, so. Oh, a critical hit. Ooh, you wounded me. You did a whole three damage instead of one. Rollout is a little bit of a scary move, though. Not against Antifor, really, but if you let it build up, especially like in the early game, then that's uh, that can be pretty dastardly. This cannot be an Electro 2. That would have been so mean. That is a Thunderstone, so yeah. Thunderstone here, Waterstone and Seafoam, and uh, Firestone and Mount Ember. Fittingly enough. Repel's effect wore off. I feel like I shouldn't even have to use repels in here because, like, why are there even wild Pokemon in this place? It's just kind of weird in that respect, in that regard. I feel like I'm just going in circles. Oh, apparently I'm not, though. We're here. This is Zapdos. Let's take a photo op with him, apparently. It's kind of what that looks like. And let's go ahead and switch. So we do have a good counter for if he goes, if he ends up uh, having Thunderbolt, which I imagine he will. But for now, let's leave with Kevin, because that's what we've done with every single, or the other the other two birds in the past. Just for um, peace of mind, I'm going to go ahead and heal up Antiford here, even though he probably won't need it. And let us begin the third and final encounter with these legendary birds. Ooh, <laughs> that's a terrifying sound. Here we go. We got the electric flying Pokemon, Zapdos, level 50, of course. Trace the pressure here. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin with a Thunder Wave, because we can actually... Oh, man! Just trading Thunder Waves today, apparently. That's fine by me. You know? So, Thunderbolt should do even less to this guy than it was doing to uh, Moltres and Articuno. Oh, man! He predicted the switch or something there, I don't know. Yeah, because... He partially resists Thunderbolt. There we go, yeah, that's totally fine. Detect? Oh, that's kind of annoying. I forgot this thing had this. I, fe I feel like... Hmm, I feel like I remember this thing's moveset more so than the others. It has... Oh, apparently not, because I, th I was going to say something else other than agility. I thought it had, like, uh, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, uh, Detect, and I guess maybe agility. I don't know. I'll, th I'll have to think about that. Alright, detect again. I feel like this thing must have... I feel like it has... Dr Maybe it doesn't have Thunderbolt, actually. I'm trying to consider that. Alright, what do you have now? So that puts you there. Psychic might actually kill from that range, so I'm not going to risk that. What can I do against this thing that won't hurt it that bad, though? I could bring in uh, Altiz and try to like bite it or something, but that seems not ideal. I could also bring in Grandosco and do like Leech Life, but that seems even less ideal. Hmm. Maybe Brick Break? 
I don't know. I'm gonna bring an Antiford regardless because he's pretty much the ultimate counter to Zapdos. He can't Thunder Wave, can't Thunder Bolt if he has that. Detect. Oh, I'm scared. I'd, obviously not Rock Blast. Earthquake will do nothing. I don't know if I want to risk that. I think I'm just going to, for a little while here, it's not an ideal circumstance to catch it, but I am just going to start throwing some Ultra Balls here. If I get really desperate or if it becomes too much of a pain to catch, then I might try some uh, Brick Break action or something else, depending. But for now, I think I'm just going to start throwing these Ultra Balls because it's still in a fairly decent range to, to be caught. I really wish it was in the red HP. That would be better for me. Agility again, yeah. You keep on doing you, Zapdos. I could have sworn this thing had Thunderbolt, though. I suppose, it, why would it go for it now, right? Oh. Okay, that's one shake. There is hope, at least. Detect. Yeah. I just... I don't know. I feel like I need... Oh, there's the Drill Peck. Okay, so it can do a little bit of damage to me. Not much, but... It can hurt Antiform. I feel like Brick Break will kill it. I really do. Oh, I should have left Rock Smash on, man. That's so weak. That would not have killed it. Alright, um, what else? Is there anything else I could do? I could go for Fly with, uh... No, that would kill too, probably. With Zamori. The only thing I could really weaken this thing with is something from Grandosco, and knowing now that this thing definitely has Drill Peck, I can't bring him in, obviously, because he will die to one of those, so... I guess just keep going with this. And just hope for the best. Come on, Ultra Balls. Work your magic. Oh man, I was just hoping it would get caught right there. That would have been too perfect, right? We'll see. I'll, like, I'll, like, wear down, like, half of my Ultra Balls, probably and then see if I can uh, go for Brick Break or something. But for the time being, I might just have to, uh, might just have to cut ahead here because Zapdos is not going to cooperate. I'm much less likely to catch this one quickly than any of the other two, or than either of the other two. Thunder Wave, yeah, of course. It does not affect. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to just gonna have to ride this one out, maybe. Because I'm almost positive that it, I know a brick break is resisted; it's not stab, but that was the same logic we took against uh, whatever we did with Articuno, right? With a Shadow Ball or whatever, or not Shadow? I don't I forget. It was something we did to Moltres actually that knocked it down like way lower than I expected, but. Hmm. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, but Zapdos is so good. I don't know if I want to risk that. He's, like, probably, like, not my favorite of the three birds. That would be Articuno. But probably the best, like, statistics-wise and usage-wise. And I don't know. We don't have an electric type either on our team. Such a close call. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate myself forever if this kills, but I'm going to go for Brick Break. Come on, Antifor, just just hold back. You're going for detect. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> After all that build up, I you just block it. Alright, try it one more time here. Please don't kill. Oh god. Okay. Alright, that's fine. I thought I was gonna do more. I, I, thank god. Thank god, Antiford. Okay. Thank god this thing has a legendary stats, I suppose. I definitely can't get it any lower than that. I'm almost positive. Unless, like, I went for Leech Life, like I said earlier, but that is not an option. Won't go higher, man. Same old song and dance. Couldn't have just been the easiest Moltres, could you? Did you get in the first, like, two Ultra Balls or whatever that I threw at? I forget. I feel like I threw, like, maybe four. I'm gonna keep Drill Pecking. Those Drill Pecks, they're not doing much, but they will wear Antifor down slowly but surely, so I'm gonna have to switch at some point. Because I'm pretty sure Drill Peck has like 20 ish PP. So, unless I can catch him before he uh, runs those out, then. I don't know. I don't have anyone else who really resists it either, do I? Oh! That's. That's that! Okay! <laughs> well! 
easy enough. Oh, it's, it's fitting, I suppose, that my favorite of the three was actually the hardest to catch out of all of them. There we go. That's that's Zapdos. Uh, man, that just kind of came out of the blue. All right, the electric Pokemon, a legendary bird that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. Ooh, 116-pound bird. That's a big turkey. All right, uh, let's just be cliche. Name this thing Zeus. I, I don't feel like being creative today, man. Here we go, Zeus, the god of lightning and thunder and storms and all that shit. There we go, and that's it for the power plant, really. Not much to say, even less than Mount Ember, it feels like, and Mount Ember was hardly anything at all. Easy as that. Oh, that whole brick break situation was a little tense. So let's go ahead and fly out to uh, Viridian City, which... That's where our last gym awaits us, believe it or not. There is no new town where the gym waits. It is the first one here that we could... It's the first gym we actually ever came across. It was just locked at the time, because it turns out it's the eighth gym. Fancy that. That's such a cool little, like, detail that they did. I love that they that they did that. Anyway, let's heal up. Uh, before we end off this video, let's take a quick look at our newfound Zapdos. Who almost fills up our PC box here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. We got three birds right down here. I've actually managed to catch all of them. It's kind of awesome. So we got a timid Zapdos. That raises speed, lowers attack. So that's not bad at all. Thunder Wave, Agility, Detect, and Drill Pack. So it didn't have Thunderbolt. So that's... I mean, I would definitely teach it Thunderbolt or Thunder or something if I ever wanted to use that. But neither here nor there for the time being. At any rate, thanks everyone for uh, for watching this one. Bit of uh, an all-over-the-place episode, I suppose. Next time, though, we're going to have a very focused, concentrated effort. And we are going to take on this gym here, the Viridian City Pokemon Gym, at long last. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.